this is the structure of abstract factory pattern we will see how this is implemented in swift source here is the protocol abstract factory it has method create product one return type is abstract product one another method is create product two return type is abstract product two so these methods will be defined in subclasses here is the subclass concrete factory one derived from abstract factory and here it implements the method create product one return type is abstract product one inside this it is creating object of product one underscore one and returns it and here it implements the method create product two return type is abstract product two inside this it is creating product two underscore one object and returns it so we can see concrete factory one is creating series one product objects product one underscore one and product two underscore one and here is the subclass concrete factory two derived from abstract factory and here it implements the method create product one return type is abstract product one inside this it is creating product one underscore two object and returns it and here it implements the method create product two return type is abstract product two and inside this it is creating product two underscore two object and returns it so we can see concrete factor two is creating series two product objects product one underscore two and product two underscore two okay here is the protocol abstract product one it has method display so this method will be defined in subclasses here is the subclass product one underscore one derived from abstract product one and here it implements the method display inside this it is just displaying this statement and here is the subclass product one underscore two derived from abstract product one and here it is implementing the method display inside this it is just displaying this statement here is the protocol abstract product two it has method display so this method will be defined in its subclasses here is the subclass product two underscore one derived from abstract product two and here it implements the method display inside this it is just displaying this statement and here is the subclass product two underscore two derived from abstract product two and here it implements the method display inside this it is just displaying this statement okay we will see how all these classes are used here we are creating concrete factory one object and we are assigning it to variable factory one of type abstract factory and then we are creating concrete factory two object and assigning to variable factory two of type abstract factory and here we have variable prod one of type abstract product one and variable prod two of abstract product two and here with these statements we are going to create series one products okay we will see how it is done here we are calling create product one method of factory one so factory one is pointing to concrete factory one object so it will go to concrete factory one create product one so it will come here and here it will create product one underscore one object and that returned object will be assigned to prod one variable so when we are calling the method display of prod one so it will go to product one underscore one display so it will come here and it will display 
this is checked back. Okay. And here we are calling the method create product to of factory one. So it will go to concrete factory one create product two. So it will come here and it will create product two underscore one object and the returned object will be assigned to prod two. So when the method display is called here, it will go to product two underscore one display. So it will come here and it will display this inside product two underscore one display. So we can see here we have created series one product object. And now with these statements, we will be creating series two products. So here we are calling create product one method of factory two factory two is pointing to concrete factory two object. So it will go to concrete factory two create product one. So it will come here and it will create product one underscore two object and the returned object will be assigned to prod one and when the method display is called here it will go to product one underscore two display so it will come here and it will display this okay and similarly when we are calling the method create product two of factory two so it will go to concrete factory two. This time create product two method. So concrete factory two create product two. Here it will come, and here it will create product two underscore two object, and the returned object will be assigned to variable prod two. And when the method display is called here, it will go to product two underscore two display. So it will come here and it will display this statement. So we can see we have used concrete factory one for creating series one products and concrete factory two for creating series two products.